Young, and I would like to welcome you to this episode of Race Face Spotlight. Today, we're headed out west to Arvada, Colorado, where we find 16-year-old race face driver Cassidy Hines. Cassidy, how are you doing this evening? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you so much for joining us. Cassidy, I'd like to jump right in and ask you about the two different series that you're racing in, the Micro Sprint Series and the Pro Truck Series. First, let's talk a little bit about the Micro Sprint car. I understand that you run both winged and non-winged. For viewers that may not understand what a Micro Sprint is, can you tell us a little bit about that type of car? Yeah, so a Micro Sprint is a smaller version of a big sprint car or midget on dirt, and it has a 600cc engine in it. Awesome. What what would you say is the biggest difference between the, the winged and the non-winged car? I'd say the biggest difference is speed and control. Um, in the winged car, you have more control because the wing puts down force on the car, so you're more planted to the track, and then with non-winged, you are kind of loose and don't have as much control on the track. Do you have a preference between the two? I like non-winged because it's faster. <laughs> <laughs> now, you have an extensive background racing quarter midgets on pavement, and now you're running a pro truck on pavement. How has that transition been for you? It's been pretty easy. When I transitioned from the quarter midget to the micro sprint on dirt, I, it was kind of difficult just because going from asphalt to dirt and I really liked dirt and then transitioning from dirt to pavement again, I didn't realize how much I missed it. You're getting ready to race your third truck race this weekend. How do you prepare differently for this race than you would for a dirt micro sprint race? I don't really prepare any different. I make sure all of my gear is clean since I race the dirt and the asphalt. But other than that, I don't really prepare any different. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about your life off the track and talk to you about your relationship with the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation. Can you share with us your involvement and what that means to you? So, Friends of Jacqueline is a big part for me. Um, I love little kids and I've kind of been in their position before because I was four months premature and I've been on oxygen before and I've been in an incubator. So I've kind of been in their position fighting for my life. And I feel like I have a better connection with them because of it. And I just love little kids. That's so great. Now, I understand that your adoption day was one of the most memorable ones so far, and you let London drive your car. I did. She drove my quarter midget. It didn't have any throttle, so we made it like a try it, you like it car, so it wasn't very fast. Um, but she really enjoyed it. She was nervous at the beginning, and then once she got in the car and drove around a little bit, she just couldn't stop smiling. I'm sure that was a very memorable experience. Now, I yeah. was talking with Rod before the show, and he told me from the very first time that he saw you, kids were attracted to you like a magnet. Can you tell us about why you have such a special place in your heart for these kids? I've always been taught to treat people the way you want to be treated and to respect people. So I feel like me growing up on that has helped me connect with kids better because I don't treat them like they're smaller. I don't treat them like they can't play a game with the bigger kids. I treat them how they want to be treated. And if they want to play a game with bigger kids, then they can play a game with bigger kids. I've never really told them, no, you're too young for that. So I feel like that helps a lot. It's a good role to live by. Yeah. One more thing that I learned from the conversation was the look. What what did he mean by that? The look is basically my don't talk to me, I'm focused look. It's as soon as I get in the car and my helmet is on, it's me sitting and staging, planning out the race and thinking about how the race is going to go before it even starts. 
So it's just the wheels turning in my head, basically. It's your game face. It is, yes. I also understand that you're an honor student. On the National Honor Society, you mentor incoming freshmen and you serve on student council. How do you handle that workload alongside of racing? It's difficult just because I have so much homework and I have so much stuff to keep up with, but I managed to do it before the weekend and before racing, so I'm not like so I'm not flustered with race day. What do your friends think about you being a race car driver? They think it's pretty cool. A lot of my friends go out to the track with me. Um, some of them are intimidated by it or they don't believe me at first. And they'll be like, oh, I race cars too. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, a lot of them like it. Now, being the only female currently in the race face program, how does that make you feel? I feel very honored by it. I feel like I'm good enough for race face and that makes me feel really good. When you're on the track, how do boys treat you? And now that you're racing trucks, I guess that would need to include men as well. They treat me pretty good. I mean, in the 600s, it's different than in the truck. The boys my closer to my age, they kind of push me around a little bit, or they try to at least, and I don't move. And one of them figured that out pretty quick. So, I mean, but in the truck, they are very patient knowing that I'm a rookie. And since they're all older guys, they are they don't really push me around. They go around me if they need to. So they're pretty patient there. Tell me a little bit about the special relationship you have with your mom and dad. My relationship with my parents is very good. Um, I feel like I'm closer to my parents than most people are. I feel like I have a better relationship with them. They are by far my best friends. Um, they're always there for me. And I feel like I can talk to them about anything. And cause, just because they help me with racing and they're always there for me, even like after school, or I can walk up to them and be like, I need help with my homework or whatever. So I feel like I have a really good relationship with them. Sounds like you have a, a great support system on and off the track there. Would you like to give a shout out to your sponsors? Yeah, I would like to thank Frontier Roofing and Restoration, Purple Lightning Racing, Impacted Wraps and Graphics, KH Suspension, the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation, Honest Films, and Steven Sons Auto Glass. Thank you so much for joining us, Cassidy. There you have it, what an amazing young lady. To learn more about Cassidy, check her out at CassidyHinesRacing.com. Follow her on social media. Don't forget, if you wanna catch up on any of the Race Face Spotlight shows, you can do so at raceface.tv on demand. Until next time, I'm Brittany Lung. Thanks for watching.